Okay, we're going to discuss uh, Chapter 7 of Conceptual Physics. Uh, this The general title is Energy, but as we'll see in the next slide, there's a whole lot more uh, that is covered than just energy. Uh, I'm going to dismiss my image. I don't think you need to see me while we go through the slides. It may interrupt the slides. Um, so here are the things, the topics that we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about, talk about energy in general, the work, power, mechanical en energy, which breaks into potential and kinetic energy, uh, the work energy theorem, conservation of energy, machines, efficiency, recycled energy, energy for life and sources of energy. Now that's a lot of topics. So normally I'd cover a whole chapter um, with one video, but I'm going to uh, break it up. This is gonna be part one. Uh, energy, work, and power. Then um, I think I've got the uh, the next three in a, in part two, um, and I then I do machines and efficiency in part three, and then I finish off the rest in in the last part. Uh, so that's how we're going to break break up all these topics. So it's not going to be one long video. It'll be it'll be uh, four uh, shorter videos. Okay, energy is a combination of energy and matter make up the universe. Um, energy quantifies a system's ability to do work, and it occurs in a variety of forms. Energy is observed when it's being transferred or being transformed. Um, it's a conserved quantity, so you can't uh, create energy or or you don't uh, you don't energy doesn't disappear. It can be transformed or converted, but uh, you can't necessarily create energy um, and you can't, you energy is not, uh, just doesn't disappear. It's always converted into heat, into sound, into uh, movement. That's, uh, that's what we mean, that energy is conserved. Okay, energy is a property of a system that can be used to do work or to heat. Um, one of the products of using energy is that things heat up. Um, it can be transferred, but the total amount of the universe does not change. The total amount of energy in the universe does not change. Now, matter is a substance we can see, smell, and feel. It has mass and occupies space. Okay, work. Work involves force and distance. Uh, work is force times distance. So in equation form, work equals force times distance. The D is is the distance that you're applying a force to. Um, if there's no distance, there's no work. Um, if you if if you're just holding something in a in a position, like let's say I hold my textbook, you know, one meter off the ground, um, my arm's going to get tired. But if I'm holding it still one meter off the ground, I'm not doing any work. There has to be distance involved. Okay, two things occur whenever work is done. A force acts on an object, and the object, the object subject is subject to the force. The object subject to the force moves. So there's in order for work to be done, there has to be distance. There has to be movement. Okay. Um, if you push against a stationary brick wall for several minutes, you do no work on the wall at all, both of the above or none of the above. Well, you do no work on the wall. If the wall hasn't moved, um, then you're not doing any work. You, you may do work on your muscles, which stretch and contract, but not on the wall because the wall does not move. There has to be movement in order for work to be uh, accomplished. Okay. Now, some examples. Uh, we've got we've got this fellow pulling this mass uh, from the first story, um, and then up to the uh, second story. So, twice as much work to get to get it from the first floor to the second floor. Twice as much work is done in lifting um, two loads, one story high versus lifting one load the same vertical distance. Um, yeah, that's actually for this one. Reason the force needs lift twice the load is twice as much. 
And twice as much work is done in lifting the load two stories instead of one story. So here's the, the case. You have to do twice as much work for, to go from here to here, you do some work. To go from here to here, you do twice as much work. Um, okay, the, that's because the distance is twice as great. So here's the D. Here's the D for the first case. Here's the D for the second case. And here you're just moving at this D, but you're moving twice as much mass. Um, so it, to, to move one bag from here to here takes so much work. And from to move two bags from here to here me, needs twice as much work. Okay. A weight lifter raising a barbell from the floor does work on the barbell. Now the units of work is the joule, one joule equals one Newton meter. Um, one joule is one Newton times one meter. Okay. Um, work is done in lifting a barbell. How much work is done in lifting a barbell that is twice as heavy the same distance? Is it twice as much, half as much? Uh, depends on the speed of the lift. Uh, well, you know, the the... The gravitational force is, if it's twice, the, gravi the, the, the gravitational force is twice. The distance is the same, so it's just going to be twice as much. Uh, this is in accord with work equals force times distance. Twice the force for the same distance means twice the work done on the barbell. Okay. Uh, you do work when pushing a cart with a constant force. If you push the cart twice as far, then the work you do is, well, it's force times distance. So if the distance is doubled, then guess what? Um, you do twice as much work, okay? All right, now power. Power is a measure of how fast work is done. So in equation form, power is equal to the work done, force times distance, divided by the time interval. So, if you do something slowly, the um, your power is is much less. And what you, this is, the force times the distance is going to be the same. But if this increases, if the time interval increases, this decreases. Conversely, if this decreases, then this increases. So the faster you do something, it takes more power to do it. Um, so. Power is directly proportional to the work done and inversely proportional to the time interval. Okay, a worker uses more power running up the stairs than climbing the stairs, the same stairs slowly. Uh, doubling the power of an engine doubles the work done in, a, in the same particular time interval. So power is a, uh, a the time, uh, the time it takes to do a particular amount of work. Now, the unit of power is the watt. Um, one watt equals one joule per second. Um, one kilowatt is a thousand watts. Um, the unit is named after James Watt, an early developer of steam engines. Okay. Now, a job can be done slowly or quickly. Uh, these methods require the same amount of work, but different amounts of energy, momentum, power, or impulse. Well, the case here is power. The work done is going to be the same, so, so the energy is the same. Um, the momentum, well, that, that's going to, uh, you know, momentum is mass times velocity, so how fast you do it will will matter but here we're looking for power power is the rate at which work is done so doing the job faster requires more power okay and that's the end of uh the work and power section we'll end it here